Hello, everyone. Welcome to our channel, where we explore the weird and wonderful world of wildlife, flirting with nature one species at a time. Today, we're delving into the wild side of zebra intercourse. That's right, we're talking about the fascinating mating rituals of these striped creatures. From steamy encounters to surprising tactics, you won't believe what these zebras get up to when no one's watching. So grab a snack, get comfy, and join us for a fun, educational, and slightly cheeky trip through the world of zebra love. Before we dive into the steamy world of zebra reproduction, let's set the stage by introducing the three main species of zebras, plain zebras, mountain zebras, and gravy zebras. These species may look similar, but they have distinct differences in their social structures and mating behavior. Now, when it comes to courtship, zebras aren't exactly subtle about their intentions. Male zebras or stallions often use a combination of vocalizations like snorts and whinnies and physical displays, like head tossing and tail flicking, to catch the eye of a potential mate. For plains and mountain zebras, life is all about family. The stallion forms a harem, which consists of several females or mares and their offspring. The stallion is the head honcho, responsible for defending his family and territory from rival males. It's sort of like a zebra version of the bachelor, but with more stripes and less champagne. Grevy zebras, on the other hand, are a bit more laid. Back when it comes to relationships, they have a more fluid social structure, with males defending territories that females may visit when they're ready to mate. It's a bit like a zebra singles bar where the ladies come and go as they please. All right, now that we've set the stage, let's get down to the nitty gritty. Zebra intercourse. When a female is in estrus or fertile, she'll signal her readiness to mate by raising her tail and arching her back. This is basically zebra speak for I'm ready for some action. Once the stallion gets the message, he'll approach the mare from behind and initiate copulation. The whole process is relatively quick, usually lasting just a few minutes. So, perhaps not the most romantic encounter, but hey, it gets the job done. You may be wondering, how do zebras with their striking black and white stripes manage to get it on without getting dizzy? Well, the not. The unique stripe patterns actually help them blend into their surroundings, making it less likely that they'll be spotted by predators during their intimate moments. After copulation, the female zebra may mate with other males within her group. This is known as polyandry, and it helps ensure genetic diversity within the group. It's a bit like a zebra soap opera, where everyone gets a turn at love. Now that we've covered the basics of zebra intercourse, let's dive a little deeper into the science behind it all. Did you know that zebras have a remarkably high reproductive rate compared to other large mammals? Female zebras can give birth to a foal every year, which is quite impressive in the animal kingdom. During copulation, the male zebra's sperm fertilizes the female's egg, and if all goes well, a new baby zebra is on the way. But it's not just about the act itself. The complex social structures and behaviors of zebras play a crucial role in ensuring the survival of their species. For example, the dominant stallion of a harem will often mate with multiple mares to increase the likelihood of successful reproductions. This strategy not only helps maintain a stable population, but also provides the group with greater genetic diversity, which is essential for the long-term survival of the species. Before we wrap up, let's have some fun and share a few interesting zebra facts that you might not know. Did you know that a zebra's stripes are as unique as a human fingerprint? No two zebras have the same stripe pattern. It's like their very own barcode. Zebras have excellent hearing and eyesight, which helps them stay aware of their surroundings and avoid predators. They can even see in color. Imagine how their world looks with all those stripes. When it comes to sleeping, Zebras don't need a fancy mattress or a cozy blanket. They often sleep standing up, and they're able to catch some Zs for short periods throughout the day and night. Talk about power napping. And there you have it, folks, a whirlwind tour of the fascinating, funny, and sometimes scandalous world of zebra intercourse. We hope you've enjoyed this entertaining and educational peek into the lives of these incredible creatures. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and share with your friends. Until next time, keep an eye out for those stripes and remember that love is always just a winnie away.